Hi everyone, welcome to BISP trainings. My name is Faiza Alam. In this session, uh, we will be knowing about the NetSuite dashboard in which uh, uh, we learn about the uh, key performance indicator that are also known as KPIs and uh, where we will learn uh, how, uh, what uh, the KPI indicators actually are and uh, how they are useful for the business and how can we set it on our NetSuite dashboard. So let's start now. So key performance indicator is a type of performance measurement. It evaluates the success of an organization or of a particular business activities that are engaged in the business. In simple uh, words, I will say that KPI is actually a measure to do the performance. It throws light on how well a business is doing. A measurement of a business performance can be done in a better way with the help of this uh, KPIs as it uh, measures a company's success versus a set of targets. It also helps to determine where uh, future investment should be made. Uh, in the business, there are various questions that are involved, like what is the desired outcome? How will uh, how will you know that you have achieved your outcome? And is this uh, a leading indicator or a uh, performance leader in, a leading indicator of performance or the lagging ones? So all these questions can very well asked with the help of uh, key performance indicators. And if we talk about the KPI, so it differs from organization to organization based on the based on their requirements or the priorities that are there in the business. KPIs provide a focus for strategic and operational improvement. It creates an analytical basis for decision making and it helps to focus attention on what matters most for the business. KPIs can be financial, it can be operational also uh, these are the measurable values that are used to evaluate how, how successful a person or organization is at reaching its target to conclude uh, i would say that uh, key performance indicator provides objective and clear information of progress towards an end goal along with that it also provides a way to measure the performance over time and the most important feature of a KPI indicator is it helps uh, to make uh, more informed decisions uh, for the NL, uh, for the decision makers. So this is all about the introduction of KPI. Moving on, <clears throat> moving on to the NetSuite application. This is my NetSuite dashboard. And as we all know that the dashboard uh, provides us a real-time uh, data. And uh, these are uh, the dashboards, if we talk about the dashboard, so these are the analytical tools that allow us to focus on the measurement that are important for the business. So this is my dashboard. Uh, you can see that right now I have not set any KPIs. So how uh, we will know how can we set the KPIs. So for that, uh, we'll go into this personalized option. Here we can see that we have the uh, portlet of KPI, so I will drag and drop it here. Right now you are, you can see that there is no content over here, so we have to set it. Uh, so for that you can see these three uh, dots, I'll go into setup. Here we have options of KPI, uh, key performance indicator and pop-up trend graph. So I will, uh, I have to add certain uh, standard KPI. So I will click on it. Now we have these uh, options available that we can set as our uh, KPI. So from which I will be taking. this bank balance. I will take this payables. Thank you. 
So I will take the, these uh, five. Now you can see that I have selected the record type. Now here we have to select the range like for uh, which period do we want to compare this record. So bank balance I would take this period and I want to compare it with the period before last. Payables. I will be uh, taking it this period and uh, here I will take last period for sales I will be taking this period and I want to compare it with last fiscal year and rest of the records I will be leaving as it is here uh, we can select uh, if we want to make uh, this uh, uh, record highlight one so these are the options that are available to us for highlighting so I will click here bank balance if greater than we have to mention any threshold here like if it is greater than 2000 I want to show it as a headline for payables also I I am taking here this highlighting I have mentioned a threshold here. Sales always receivables and profit. So if you want to change the compare range so we can change it like for receivables uh, I am changing it. So here I have set the criteria uh, I have taken the records and I have set the highlightings, threshold headlines and all. So I have set the uh, standard KPIs. Now the other option that we have here is pop up trend, trend graphs. So what happens uh, if I set it over here so it will give us the you know uh, trend graphs information so it can be a uh, customized we can see that the default chart type is here uh, uh, what would be the time frame for the incre increment and moving average to be shown for you know how much a period if we want to show the moving average so we can check this box this is about the visualization of our uh, trend graphs like chart theme would chart theme would be colorful what would be the chart background what would be its color so we can set it from here So now you can see that the KPI uh, has been set previously uh, it was showing no content uh, right now it is showing the total bank balances sales receivables and profits here. You can see this change has occurred uh, due to the uh, comparison that have been made like uh, as a total if we talk about the total bank balance so it has been compared with this uh, the this period so bank balance has been compared with period before last so this is the values and this is the change that have come there is a decline this red arrow is an indication that there is a decline and for payables you can see that uh, there is not much difference that is why a uh, green uh, arrow is shown because there, uh, the comparison you know is quite less here sales have also been declined you can see that this is uh, for 99.4 percent 
and uh, this is about the profit it is also declining if we talk about the receivables so receivables for the current period are, are being increased so that is why it is showing with the green uh, up arrow and here we can have a visualization of it with these uh, small small portlets along with that we can refresh it uh, if, uh, if we want to remove this so we can remove it from our dashboard but uh, you know it helps in easy visualization of our metrics that are changing with the time and it helps the decision makers to uh, take proper decisions and this uh, key performance indicator for the is for the subsidiary america you can see that so this is how the kpi meters uh, sorry kpi indicators can be set the other uh, concern of our today is uh, kpi meter so here we have i have uh, sorry uh, three kpi meters available i want to set it on my dashboard so i will drag and drop it here i will refresh it so now you know uh, it you can see that it is uh, providing me the total bank balance if i go into this this drop down so if i click on sales so these are the sales based on the record that we have selected uh, the meter provides us the metrics for it if i take profit here it is showing like this if we take payables here so you can see that uh, the payables are shown in this format but the condition for it is we should have data to be displayed if you know uh, no uh, transaction relating to any sales purchases receivables or profit takes place so this meter would not indicate anything so there must be some data to be displayed on the kpi meter so this is about the uh, kpi meter uh, along with this uh, key performance indicator it provides us the summary of our uh, uh, metrics and it provides us the uh, uh, detailing in the form of uh, meter that is why it is known as kpi meter so it can be uh, customized based on our requirement the other thing that you are seeing that uh, we have set a trend graph with this icon you can see here if i click on it so it will give us a small pop up window and it will provide us the trend graph relating to this record like this is for total bank balance work by period it is showing like this if i click on this receivables it is showing like this if i take this payables so it is showing like this so in this way we can have our kpi uh, indicators uh, it provides us the proper detailing or proper comparison of our business performance and it can be compared uh, the uh, it can be compared with uh, any of the period and uh, so that the decisions can be taken like where uh, what are the leading indicators and what are the lagging indicators and how can we uh, make improvements in our business so it helps uh, in taking a proper and well informed decision so that's all about the kpis and it is highly you know customizable we can change it uh, base, uh, we can change or customize uh, the, this uh, kpis based on our requirements or priorities of the business so that's all about the topic in case of any questions and consultations you can write to us at www.bispsolutions.com thank you